Hi guys and welcome to the end of day three here at the Fiji International. I'm joined by Gareth Patterson who is now the current course record holder. Gareth, how was, uh, how's the first couple of days been? Uh, a bit up and down Jared. to be quite honest, you know what it's like. Uh, shot 76 for the first day and was almost ready to pack my suitcase and uh, just keep swimming out past the coral reef and just <laughs> swim back home. But uh, you know, came back incredibly strong and shot a course record which was incredibly, uh, so unexpected. So today another solid round in day, th um, in day three. What are you looking forward to tomorrow? You know, just looking forward to really enjoying it. I think you can, once you're up there and you haven't been up there for a while, um, you start to push and you start to get very nervous and might get overcome by the occasion. But, you know, just keep doing what you're doing really, day in, day out, and uh, try and get a good night's sleep and a couple of maybe Carvers, the local Fijian drink, and I'd be right to go. Obviously, Brand Snedek is still playing solid. Coming up the last hole as we speak now, um, you know, he's going to be hard to beat. He's, he's a proven winner, and, and this year he won in, in Torrey Pines with a you know, fantastic last round in, in conditions very similar to today. So, you know, what are your plans tomorrow to go out there and, and try and catch him? Um, <clears throat> I think you've just got to play your game. I mean, he's world number 23, and he's a Ryder Cup player and FedEx Cup winner, I think, um, for a reason, that is. So, you know, you've just got to go out there and play your own game, and it's it's it'll be pretty amazing to play with them just to see what the difference is. And I know there wouldn't be much difference, but it's just keep it in play, hold the odd part, the odd wedge shot goes closer than than yours, and yeah, um, all of a sudden he's got you by about three shots. So it'll be really exciting to see what he does tomorrow. But I just, you know, four shots against the world number 23. I, I think it's his to lose. Nothing a nice little 64 on Sunday wouldn't fix, mate. Absolutely, I'd be quite happy with that. Our clubhouse leader, Brant Snedeker, has just walked off the 18th. Here's what he had to say about his round. A tough day. It was, it was a day where you were going to go real low. I did a great job of kind of hanging in there. Um, hit the ball really well off the tee, except for where they want one exception and put the ball where I needed to all day. And um, you know, Hit a bunch of great putts, just didn't want to go in today for whatever reason. But uh, you know, starting the day out, you tell me I could shoot a couple under par, I probably would have taken it, as tough as the conditions are. And, as many big numbers as are out there uh, possibly being and waiting on you. So I um, did a good job of hanging in there, kind of, kind of keeping myself a chance and, and going in tomorrow, got to go out there and finish it off. Three shot lead win like this is one hole, you know, so uh, need to go out there and play a solid run of golf like I did today. Keep, keep putting the ball in the right spots off, off the green, on, on the fairways and then put it on the right spots in the green so it can be more aggressive. And you know, we'll see what the weather looks like. I've heard there's mixed reviews on the weather tomorrow. So hopefully we get a good day of forecast and can go out there and, and make some birdies and shoot something low. Perfect. Well, thanks very much, Gareth, for joining me today, and um, all the best for tomorrow. Cheers, Jared.